What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Roundup. I'm your host, David Cantu, and I'm here to give you all the entertainment news that you want to hear. Now hit the intro. Last week, there was rumors circulating that Mad Max Fury Road director George Miller would be directing the sequel to 2013's Man of Steel. It made sense given Fury Road's positive critical response, but now it looks like people shouldn't be getting their hopes up. Den of Geek is reporting that two sources are stating that Man of Steel 2 has been put on permanent hold. Now, Miller may still be talking to Warner Brothers about a DC property, but it won't be a Superman film. That's unfortunate since it was Man of Steel that got this DC Cinematic Universe ball rolling. It just seems that now that they're making Batman DC Universe's poster boy, they're just pushing Superman aside. I know, Clark. I know. It's gonna be okay. If they're gonna go ahead and do that, they better make these films outstanding. I mean, I'm excited for these other films too, don't get me wrong. But I do feel like you should dance with the one that brought you, so to speak. If Miller isn't doing a Superman movie, you might as well just throw Lobo his way. I'm sure he can do crazy things with that character. There you go, Warner Bros. Go set up some meetings. Can I get a cut for this idea? If you're a collector, you may have heard of the company Mondo. They're famous for creating beautiful and very limited movie posters, steelbook Blu-rays, and so much more. But now it looks like they're getting into the action figure business. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle action figures, to be more specific. Mondo is creating these 1-6 scale figures to the likeness of the original Eastman and Laird comic from 1984. And I honestly couldn't believe that they're 1-6 scale. That's roughly about 12 inches. That's what she said. <laughs> They'll be releasing one figure at a time, starting with Leonardo, at $150 each. Now before everybody lets out a collective gas, remember, it is a 12 inch figure. It does come with interchangeable parts and a bunch of accessories. So that in itself does make it worth it. Each figure comes with a red mask head as well as a colored mask head so that way they're easily identifiable. Leonardo comes with everything that's pictured in this photo. And that's quite a bit included. Mondo is also releasing an exclusive version that comes with Shredder's destroyed gauntlet for $10 more. That one looks to be limited to 500 reproductions. With Mondo being Mondo you know that these are going to be flying off the virtual shelf. So get these while you can. These are available now, and if you're not sure where to go, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description for you guys. Just beware, if you visit Mondo's site, you may end up with an empty bank account. Don't say I didn't warn you. Real quick while I have you guys, I wanted to talk about a, a pretty cool group on Facebook called Versus. It's a group devoted to posing questions about characters in either fiction or reality and putting them in a face-off and seeing who would win. A lot of really cool people there, so I suggest checking them out. Like I said, it's Versus with an exclamation point at the end on Facebook, so do it. Do it now. So how do you feel about Man of Steel 2 being put on permanent hold? Are you going to be getting any of these Ninja Turtle Mondo action figures? Let me know in the comments below. Click on my katana to subscribe to this channel. Give us a thumbs up while you're there. And if you can, share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching another episode of The Roundup. We'll catch you next time.